Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well, with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. What's up guys, these are the most realistic effects in Vegas Pro 16. This effect that we're gonna use today is called the disintegration effect. I'll just show you guys what the effect looks like. So this is what we're gonna recreate today. There are three things that we need for this effect. First is a clip of us standing there and doing the actual effect right here, as you can see. And then a clip of the background where you're not in the screen, only your background, as you can see, like that. Then the third thing is the Sapphire plugin. Now, I'm just using the trial version for this uh, because I'm not going to purchase like the entire Sapphire plugin. It's quite expensive too, you know, for just for one video, you know? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the trial. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and, for example, stand where you want to ha the effect to happen. And then you want to look in the camera for just a few seconds and then right here We're gonna put our marker and then we're going to go ahead and mask ourselves out So we're gonna press on s and then we're gonna click on the event pan crop icon And then what we're gonna do is we're going to mask out ourselves like I've mentioned So we're gonna use the mask option right here for that and then we're going to click on anchor creation tool. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to mask out ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and go across my arm, go back on my shoulder, then across my neck. And then obviously I'm going to go all the way around. And you guys have to do that as well for the entire object or yourself. If you want to put that effect on yourself, you just have to mask it out basically. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to proceed. So I'm almost done as you can see going around, going across, and then we will proceed. So as you can see like that, you just want to connect these right like that. And then the background is transparent and don't mind like the like some edges because if you're going to put the background of yourself under it, you're not even going to notice it as you can see like that. You, you don't even notice it that much. So what you want to do then is you want to go ahead and delete or just move up the background just for a second. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a snapshot because we need ourselves of an image just like without a background. So we're going to click on there. So then what we want to do is you want to, for example, type in uh, me and then I'm going to go ahead and click on here and you want to make sure that you will pick PNG because that will be transparent. So then you want to click on save and we're going to drag that image into Vegas. Okay, so now that we are in here transparent, we can delete this part and we can add in our background. So it still looks like we're standing in the same spot and we actually are, as you can see like that. Maybe we can just add in like a nice fade in like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add in the desecration effect. Okay, so this is where the Sapphire plugin comes in. We're gonna click on transitions and we're going to look for the S underscore wipe diffuse. Then we're gonna create a fade Fade out. Then we're gonna drag the diffuse on top of the fade out like that. And as you can see, if I play it back, this is what it looks like. And that's how awesome it looks. Now, what you want to do is you can also click on the diffuse amount. And then at the beginning, you want to keep this on 100 and then place your marker at the very end. And then you want to bring that guy all up. Then right click on this icon and then you want to click on smooth fade. Now if I go ahead and play it back, this is the end result. So that is how to do it guys. This is how to make the disintegration effect. What's happening guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this Vegas 16 tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a sexy time-lapse because all the videos I've done in the past about time-lapses are basically like speeding up videos. But in today's video, we're gonna actually use images for this. How to create like an, uh, a time-lapse with like still images. Like I've mentioned, a time-lapse is consisting 
out of images. Now I know that when you want to film like an eight hour time lapse, you have to find a camera that's gonna, you know, film like for eight hours and you need like, I don't know, hundreds of gigabytes in, on your memory card. It just doesn't work that way. So that's why they said, okay, we're gonna use pictures, for example, like every two seconds. And then you have, for example, like 20,000 photos. You just need to import and that's how you can create an awesome time lapse. So that's what I did. I just found a video of a uh, time lapse video. I'm sorry guys that I'm doing this constantly, but I don't know, it's just like, it's way more fun to have, have such a great microphone. And uh, yeah, that's basically why I'm so excited to have this one and that's all because of you. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is obviously we need to take all those pictures. So I just did that and now I'm gonna go ahead and import them. Okay, so this is going to be your folder, as you can see, very packed with photos. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select all the photos that we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. I'm gonna unselect the items that I don't need, for example, this video. So now all these images, we're gonna drag these into Vegas Pro. As you can see like that, they're now all on the same order. So this is basically how your timeline is going to look. So let's play it back and let's see what it looks like. As you can see, all your images are just still frames. You know, if I'm going to go through it, this is basically how it looks. So now this video is 21 minutes long because these are 200 photos. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this one uh, very, very accurately. Or you can cut these one in half. It doesn't, you know, really matter. But I'm going to go ahead and export all these photos to a video. And then we're going to proceed from there. Okay, so I have no idea how long this is going to take because this one is uh, 21 minutes in length because of all of the photos. So I'm kind of wondering like, okay, this is probably going to take, oh, four minutes. That's that's roughly enough and that's not too long. So we're going to just wait a minute. I'm going to add in some music. I'm going to speed up the camera and then we'll proceed from there. Let's go. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, the video finished exporting and obviously before you export, you can just decide like, okay, I want to have like a cinematic look or you can add in a LUT filter, a LUT is kind of a you know color correction thing. You can all do that and, run and do that before you render it out. So then we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna drag in the video that we just rendered out. Okay, so as you can see right now, this is basically the video that we just exported and now we need to make it, oh, now we need to make it look like a time lapse. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go with our mouse on the very right of the track. Then we want to hold left control until, until it says time stretch. And then we're gonna stretch this guy all the way to the left. But as you can see, the clip is still five minutes. So we need to go ahead and export this once more. And we need to basically just repeat this process until it looks like a uh, time lapse. So I'm gonna re-export this one as well. Okay, so now that this video has uh, finished exporting as well, we're gonna just also do the same and drag this one into Vegas like that. Then we're gonna just remove the audio because we don't need that. Then we're gonna just go to do the same, hold left control and do a time stretch. This is basically our time lapse that we created from only still images. As you guys can see, this is how amazing it looks. And this is just so mind blowing that this looks so smooth with like images. So guys, that is how to do it. This is how simple it is. And that's how you create an amazing, amazing time lapse in Vegas Pro 16. That is going to be it for this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. Make sure to drop a like down below if you find this video helpful. And also guys, I'm currently giving away three box copies of Vegas Pro 16. So if you wanna go ahead and enter, make sure to do that in the description there is the link to the video and that's all I have for you guys today so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for the continued support and I will catch you guys in my next video